Okay, so we're gonna start off with this little guide here where I'm gonna use my forearm to guide him as he's walking towards me. And I usually am here, okay? If I wanted to control the geese, I just secure the geese. But right now, I'm here. And I try to establish elbow dominance on the inside here, okay? As he's walking forward, I'm just learning to guide him. See, and this could be, make sure a few things, make sure you don't cross your feet, your knees are slightly bent. And as he's walking towards me, I guide him. Boom, you could do this with one hand, it's another, another good practice, is with one hand. And he's working with you as he walks towards you, you guide him. You guide him, see I can make him go that way, and then I can switch it up. Generally, um, I'm always, pu I'm generally pushing him to the inside, of me, okay, to the inside position. Okay, now, bringing him down. So from here, I'm just gonna back up and pull him down to his knees. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna back up and get him down to his knees. Now, when I get here, I need to keep pressure on the back of his neck, okay? So for now, I'm going to assume a grip. I can either go here or here. However you want, you want to say, I might keep a grip here, but it, but I keep my shoulder on the back of his neck, okay? And I'm, and I'm heavy here, okay? Now, from here, I can now start pushing this arm in if I could. I make a nice, solid grip here, okay? And now I'm gonna sit him up and bring my right knee in, right here, okay? I'm gonna bring this leg over. I'm loosening up my grip so I can do the move, but I'm gonna kick this leg over. When I kick this leg over, I'm gonna my elbow here, I'm gonna drive my hands in that direction. I'm not pulling up, not yet, okay? I'm gonna tighten first, and then I bring my elbow up. So I'm, I'm tightening it up, and now watch when I raise that elbow up He'll tap. So I'm doing this. Up. Okay. So we were here. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna I switch to this grip. Look at my, I'm gonna go to palm to palm grip. Just like this. So I can go from here to right here. Because I can use my forearm to drive that arm of his in. Okay, from here I can make a nice bite here. I got him. Go forward, driving the in, bring it, and now I raise up, and you'll get a quick tap. <laughs> you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass up. Tight. Okay, so, with that said, if he starts addressing your grips initially from here, if he starts addressing my grips, then it's probably time for me to switch it to a back control. So what I do instead, I'm gonna take this knee now, because I'm gonna drive it here. There's different ways to do it, just this is the lesson for today. I'm gonna drive this knee inside and I'm gonna go to the seat belt. So I'm gonna go here, and then the transition is, boom, to the seat belt. Okay, now from the seat belt here, I'm gonna go for a collar choke. So, whenever you do a seat belt, just hit up. It's here, we're here. The difference between this and uh, and the collar is just inserting thumbs into the sleeves of the lapel, okay? So went from here to here and here. So then when we're here, I'm gonna, my all my weight's gonna come off of his back and I'm gonna place it on the neck here. All my weight, preferably placing my forehead on the floor up there, up, up here. Now from here, all my, my knees are off the ground. I'm going to turn my knees in that direction. And as soon as I take a first step, they should start to tap. It's already tapping. It's a quick mo motion. So again, we were here. One. Two collar grip so I can grab the opposite collar I can also grab his wrist it works well also 
go forward turn my knees in that direction and start walking and you get a tap from there so that's the move that we're working on in this lesson uh, hand and arm control snap down to the turtle position a quick guillotine if he starts defending the arms you switch to back take and you can finish with a clock choke since we're wearing the gi tomorrow I'll show some other videos on things that you can do without the gi and there's a whole bunch you can do it without the position